What is up, everybody? This is FHRC Brony, and today I am quarantined. <laughs> Alright, in this video, I just want to go ahead and do a little overview of the Protoform Corvette C8 body I just got online. And I must say, this thing looks amazing. Um, well, it was clear when I got it, and I just painted up. But I really love the CA Corvette. I believe, in my personal opinion, I think it's the best Corvette ever made. Period. Aside from the C6 and C7, I personally think this right here is the best looking Corvette out there. Some people may not agree with me, some people will do. And for some who don't agree with me, that's fine. I know everybody has their own opinions on things. Um, some people will say, oh, it's not really a true Corvette because it's not front engine, it's now mid-engine. But here's the thing, you can get supercar quality and supercar performance and supercar looks without spending $100,000 on a cheap Ferrari or a cheap Lamborghini. This thing literally costs, the real one, costs like sixty, seventy thousand dollars 70000 The cheapest Ferrari... And the cheapest Lamborghini from this same year as when this car was built in real life, you're spending you're gonna be spending over two hundred thousand dollars. So this is the best bargain for supercar performance and supercar looks. And here is Pierce Protoform making um here is Protoform making a Corvette C8 body. I do know that they made a C7 body along with Traxxas themselves. They did make a Traxxas did make a C7 Z06 body, um, and uh, Protoform did a C7R body and a um, C7 ZR1 body. So Protoform had made three Corvettes: the two C7s and this one, the C8. And Traxxas only made one Corvette body which is the C7Z06. So, um, I do know that there's an RC car body with the C6 generation, the 6th generation Corvette body, but I forgot who made that uh, body. So, if you guys know what it is, uh, chime in in the comments. Uh, I would love to know that. But anyways, back to the C8 Corvette. This right here, I painted up myself, and, you know, I, I love the way it looks. There are a little bit of some some imperfections right here um such as the front um the wheel arches um uh, this one's kind of cracked but it's no big deal um this one i did not really did a really careful job on doing the the fender the fender wheels uh neither is the back and same thing with the other side but hey you know when it, from a far from far distance you're really not going to be seeing that so let's see the front, um, I did not put um, any headlight buckets on yet or such and such. Um, it's, so it's still clear. As you can see, you could probably see some of the inner workings in there. You can see the little spring in there. That's inside. That's, that's clear. Um, I'm going to try to order some LED lights at Amazon because I know you can get one for like $4.00. Um, but we'll see. I'm not really in a rush to get that thing. But, uh, yeah, so that's why the light buckets, the headlights are still clear. Because I'm going to put a uh, some LEDs in there. Because I like LED lights. Um, let's see. Anything else on the outside of the C8 Corvette? In looks. Um, it's going to be hard for me to hold this on the camera but uh here's the side of it and uh this wing um also came with the body so and uh, i was gonna be putting a, a regular fixed wing like how my lfa body does um like how my lexus lfa body has but unfortunately this already has the body has struts molded onto it um, so I have no choice of but to use a the, the wing that came with the car. Here's the back of the C8 Vet. I'm going to put my own license plate in here. So 
I'm not going to be using the one that in, that came with the sticker sheet. So, yeah. So, what is underneath this body? Um, underneath is just Atraxis Vortex 2.0. And I will show you that to you right now. There you go. Traxxas Vortec 2.0. I'm not going to go really in depth with this thing because you've seen my unboxing of the Traxxas Vortec 2.0. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a brushed one. Some of you guys may say, why didn't you just get the brushless? And, um... No offense intended, but I am not really a big fan of brushless. Um, but I still, I mean, that doesn't change the fact that I will not buy a brushless. I mean, I mean, I still have my VXL um, uh, brushless system. It works just fine. It's just, I prefer, I just prefer brushed because um, it's a lot easier for me to work with. And also when I make... Um, some in the future I'll be making some RC car action videos and I don't want a car an RC car is going 60 miles an hour just to capture a good looking shot of it running around so brush is fine with me but for speed runs I'm just gonna be using that VXL uh, 3S systems on all the RCs I've owned um, and I'm also gonna be doing a final review of the Fortec VXL because Although I don't really own a factory stock Fortec 2.0 VXL, um, the only thing that's really different on that thing is just adjustable tie rods and and a motor ESC swap, and that's pretty much it from f as far as I'm concerned. So there's nothing really different about it other than a other than you can actually adjust camber and tow and a motor ES ESC swap, and that's pretty much it. So. I'm also going to be doing a review, a final review on that one, after I finish off my TRX4 review. But yeah, that's the Corvette C8 body from Protoform. And um, I post this up on a Fortech group that I'm on, that I'm in on Facebook. And um, they told me that the C8 body is a 190 millimeter touring car body. And the Fortec 2.0 is a 200 millimeter touring car chassis. How? And they were asking me, how was I able to install a Corvette CA body, which is a 190 millimeter uh, body, to a car that has that has a dimension of 200 millimeters? Well, first of all, the rear tires was sticking out a little bit out of the body. So what I did is I actually adjust, I just moved the camber link to the second hole towards the wheel. And that gave me some clearance on the back so it doesn't rub. On the front, on the other hand, I might need to go ahead and work, um, find a way to work on that one. But so far, it's not really rubbing against the, the wheel. So yes, um, it's just for looks. I mean, um, I am not going to be like doing any sort of hardcore bashing with this thing um because no offense intended though um these are usually i like to keep the most expensive bodies at least clean as much as i can i'm not saying that i will not drive them i will not drive these uh the vortex with these bodies on um but um yeah Here's some because plus here's here's the look of my Ferrari body and um, look how banged up it is. I mean it's still in one piece though it's still drivable, but um, yeah. But um, is there anything else I need to talk about here? Not really. This is just really meant to be an update video on uh, my Traxxas Fortec 2.0 with the Corvette C8 body on it. So that hope I. Um, answered some of you guys and saying how was I able to put a 190 millimeter RC body onto a car chassis that has 200 millimeters of dimension it's pretty simple I just gotta just play around with the I just played around with the camber and 
and stuff and there you go so it's already 10 minutes and um hope you guys enjoyed this ball uh, not really much boring uh, update video but it's kind of is boring but you know it's just me blabbering at this but hope you guys enjoyed this and um i'll see you guys later